Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I want to talk to you about solar ignition and a layman's explanation of the physics behind it. There's five points that I wanted to bring out and talk to you about and the first is that you'll always want to wear your shades when doing solar experiments. If you if you're just igniting char cloth, something that's quick like char cloth or any other tinder, that's not a problem. But when you stare at that very intense focal point for minute after minute, when you look away, you will have persistence. You will have a dark spot in your eyesight at the place that you were staring at that focal point. And I've had it last on me for up to a half hour. So I don't think it's dangerous. But I do think somebody like me that's constantly doing solar experiments needs to wear shades when doing it. And I think everybody else. You can't really tell how quickly you're going to get a solar ignition when you first start off. And you might end up staring at it for several minutes. And you won't like the persistence that you have to deal with afterwards. So just, just wear some good quality uh, shades when you're doing solar experiments. Oh, now, magnifiers like this page magnifier collects the rays of the sun, which are, collects the photons and concentrates those photons into one tiny focal point, and there's a tremendous amount of heat there. The power of the magnifier determines how far you have to hold it from the tinder bundle, you know, to have that really tight focal point but the intensity something that's a, the hottest of all focal points is d determined by the size of the magnifier so and it, it makes sense too doesn't it? if you think about the photons that normally fall down and hit an area that size which is the uh, Fresnel lens the wallet Fresnel lens and you, <laughs> you think about the photons in this area here that would normally hit the surface of anything. You think about concentrating all of those down into one single point and it just makes sense that the larger the area of the magnifier, the hotter the focal point. There's a way to, as everybody knows who's ever concentrated a focal point with a magnifier, you know, you pull back on it or you, you close in on it until that focal point gets as tight as possible. Well, that's one thing, tightening up the focal point. But you can focus the po focal point, too. And when, when the sun finally comes over them trees, I want to show you how you can have a very tight focal point, but that focal point be out of focus. And that's simply because you're not holding the magnifier straight, straight at the sun. So you see a little glare off to this side or a little glare off to that side. You'll want to adjust your magnifier to focus in that focal point. So that's one of the things I want to show you. And yesterday's video I used a ball of pine needles. Took a ball of pine needles and made them real small and then put those in a handful of pine needles and I used my Fresnel lens to get a big enough ember on there to go ahead and blow that into flames. That technique I owe directly to Dave Canary. He's the one that told us the best way to ignite something like that. Uh, just take a small ball of the tinder, whether it's straw or leaves or newspaper. Ball it up into a tight ball. And when you establish in, an ember in that tight ball, then you can blow, you can transfer the heat to, your, to the rest of your tinder bundle. So I just... Just wanted to uh, give Dave Canterbury his props. We've all learned so much from him. So that's my intro. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, let me go ahead and get in the sun over here. The sun's not over those trees yet. It will be in an hour. Let's get over here in the sun and uh, see if we can do our first experiment. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about when I say focus in a focal point. You can have the focal point good and tight, as tight as it can possibly be, but it still not be focused in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now you know when you want to tighten up a focal point, if you've 
fool with a a magnifying glass at all, you know to pull away or push in until that focal point gets tight. But if you see there, I hope you can see under my, see past my shoulder, I'm actually getting smoke right there, but that, that focal point is not focused in. You see all that glare to the left of that focal point? You need to tilt this magnifying glass until you have just as much glare over on the other side. And you might even have to take the tulip poplar or whatever you're trying to ignite, and you might even, you might even, might even need to turn it up and twist it a little bit. But if you see, I don't know how well you can see that, but pretty much X marks the spot. Look at how focused, look at how tight the focal point is and how focused it is. And that's how to get the most out of a solar ignition. Now this tulip poplar is, it needs to be closed in just a little bit. But, um, and it's almost a constant thing because the sun is moving all the time and you're not noticing the little incremental movements you're doing so um, this tulip poplar bark's not going to ignite because it's wet but uh, X marks the spot can you see that so I have adjusted this and I have adjusted adjusted my uh, Fresnel lens all right, now I'm going to change out this wallet Fresnel lens that's been in my wallet for a year and a half because it's cracked up so badly. It's just, it's just completely falling apart. But it did a good job yesterday, didn't it? And if you start carrying one in your wallet, you're going to run into the same problem. It wasn't long when I put this in my wallet uh, that the cracks started appearing. I hope somebody someday will make one that's unbreakable, like a lot of pra plastic items can be made unbreakable. But here's my nice new one, my nice new pristine one. Let's read another one of these sayings on the back of it like we did yesterday. Let's see, here's one by Charles Lindbergh. In wilderness I sense the miracle of life. And behind it, our scientific accomplishments fade to trivia. Charles Lindbergh. And that one's nice and new and clean. All right. We're going to take these woody sections off the bottom of this grass. Because we put that in on the fire after I'm done. We'll take the softer portions and just start really processing it up, making it nice and delicate and separating those fibers, softening those fibers. And when we get the bulk of it processed up, then we'll pull out some fine stuff and make a ball out of it. You want to make a good, tight ball. That is not very tight, but maybe I can hold it some while we're trying to solar ignite it. And we'll put this right back in the middle of the straw. No, let's see if that's going to work. Nice, tight. Yeah, I'm holding it tight. So the ball is in the middle there, and I got it held tight. I have it compressed. Let's see what we can do with it. And I do have my shades on. And I'm slowly rotating my tinder bundle 
towards the Fresnel lands. So that was off a little bit too. Once you get it ignited, you can go ahead and put the woody pieces on. Good. So, it's going to take some time with a small magnifier like this, but it's doable. Now let's play with the page magnifier. Alright. Let's try some newspaper. Let's go ahead and focus it in on the table so we can. Let's go ahead and focus it in on the table so we can see exactly what angle it needs to be. Remember, X marks the spot. That's the angle right there. All right, let's try it. Try our one, our one leaves tinder bundle. And that, this focal point is so bright, I can hardly tell if I need to pull away from it or, or draw towards it to get ignition. I guess you can't see it, can you? What if I got over here? Will that work better? Got the table smoking there. There we go. All right, these all look like this straw here, but this is pine needles, highly processed. So here's the, the straw. X marks the spot right there. X marks the spot. And we'll do the last newspaper. <laughs> when you get it just right, it's immediate, isn't it?
get it in here where it's a little more compact. There we go. All right, y'all. I hope you learned something about solar ignition and, and magnifiers. I really enjoyed this one. Another good one. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.